all right same setup as before running from nine volts um, got the little donut coil transmitter donut coil receiver and um, loaded right now with this LED pulling 35 36 milliamps um, see as I take if I take the load away <clears throat> idle is back down at about 15 milliamps of course I can um, I can idle it I can make it idle all the way down to about a little under 3 milliamps and then when I put the load on it jumps up to about 12 milliamps so obviously this setup as opposed to the double A uh, is way uh, more inefficient um, but it can serve a practical purpose as long as you can keep the draw down and um, you know the higher voltage that you're putting into it you probably have better odds at good uh, good range and whatnot but what I thought was cool was um, If I tune it up a little bit more, if I put it into about the 15 milliamp range, like so, this is about 15 milliamps, then this guy right here, my other coil I was using, actually gets great range too. It doesn't really load, load the circuit down uh, doesn't cause the block and oscillator to draw away more because of the load like the other coil does and I get like really good range I get like a foot of range over there obviously it's not so powerful at that at that foot but I get lots of range you know but this LED brings it up to about 3540 but anyway look at look at the range of this guy it's just sitting there and it lights up pretty much off of any wire All right these are just the leads coming off my pot and my capacitor it's pretty weird if I tune it out of this little area though it won't do that anymore so I can set that right there it's pulling about 15 Tune it anywhere out of that region, it goes out. I can, I can play with it until I see them come on. Right there, they start to come on. It's about 8 milliamps, 10 milliamps. At about 15, it gets the brightest, I would say. So, yeah, that was pretty strange to see that. Um, just to one wire is giving off a field and uh, this guy doesn't pick it up this little coil here with this light will not see that field only this bigger guy over here with the two uh, three volt LEDs in series that was kind of weird can't really figure out why that is but very interesting um, so I feel like with this circuit that's probably what I'll end up doing uh, work with a variation like this and then run it off of like a 9 or 12 volt power source and just try to dial it in uh, just right um, but yeah weird stuff weird stuff